Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from the uh, for the trading session you have today is the Tuesday, the fourteenth of August, two thousand and eighteen. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so markets certainly having a reprieve today, uh, a short squeeze in European session this morning, given the fact that we have uh, we have uh, news. Or some sort of uh, ease now with regards to um, the uh, Turkey situation, with uh, with the Turks now coming in to uh, protect the market, or providing stimulus, etc., and giving uh, reassuring statements, and also this uh, news of uh, the pastor potentially coming out of house arrest. So that certainly is another factor as well that's in play. Now we do have the situation in regards to terrorism in the UK this morning. Uh, again, certainly concerns there. That certainly is a, a negative factor on the uh, UK index. In terms of the uh, European markets and German ZEW numbers coming in uh, <clears throat> more or less weaker, the ZEW numbers survey expectations certainly coming in weaker. Uh, but uh, recent trade agreement between US and US lifted investor sentiment significantly. Okay, uh, but growth out of the German economy has deteriorated nonetheless. nonetheless. So that certainly is a cause for concern as well. So bear that in mind. Chinese data as well overnight certainly coming in weaker too so uh, again that is another cause for concern but nevertheless the the actual so-called uh, Turkish contagion certainly has been uh, restrained to a large extent now EU German GD or European GDP numbers certainly came in stronger than expected so that certainly is a good sign although the industrial numbers came in weaker so bear that in mind as well and German ZEW uh, survey uh, current situation came in uh, slightly better and uh, the economic sentiment came in stronger as well so just bear that in mind in terms of germany uh, but none, nevertheless the uh, ongoing global growth phase certainly do cause concern for european indices nevertheless okay uh, mr erdogan has stated or erdogan has stated that um, he will uh, reduce uh, his uh, purchasing of uh, u.s electronics and therefore that certainly is a risk off for the uh, u.s tech sector so as i say you reap what you sow okay uh, the idiot Mr. Trump obviously has gone around and attempted to attack uh, Turkey financially, which really is a very prosperous, very, uh, I've just recently come back from there as well, very affluent, very prosperous, very tolerant, very open-minded. Uh, from my perspective, it's probably the, it is the best city in, in Europe, from my understanding. The calligraphy masters are there, uh, artisans of every kind, whether it's wood, whether it's metal, very, very skilled in laborers there, from what I can see. Uh, and very uh, tolerant, very open-minded, very kind, courteous, uh, and uh, very educated people as well. So, uh, and really, to be honest with you, it's very. I've just come back from London, and I can't say that for London, unfortunately. So, it certainly is the the case that is that uh, Turkey certainly is uh, is the cradle of civilizations, always has been from the east and the west, and and will remain. So, it's very very important for for Turkey to remain that growth factor, and it's actually bullish for Europe as well, because again. Uh, the demographics of Turkey very young, vibrant, uh, obviously uh, uh, demographics, and therefore obviously they are going to uh, import more, and therefore that helps Europe as well to a large extent, especially given the, the sheer size of the population there. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of the fundamentals. Let's look at the technical picture now in terms of markets uh, at present. So again, German DAX, as you can see here, currently sliding, gapping higher, then obviously starting to move south now. Uh, you are coming into the previous resistance equal support. Watch out for gap fill below as well. Okay, so again, uh, the Chinese numbers and obviously the ZEW numbers certainly aren't giving confidence at present. As you can see, that the gap fill, the, the gap higher certainly is being sold into. In terms of the French CAC, same for, for obviously scenario there as well, going towards gap fill. Certainly isn't giving a vote of confidence there, so watch out above. If the market does obviously push high, then you do have two gaps to fill above as well, so watch out above. In terms of the FTSE 100, now let's see exactly what's going on here. Daily chart at present still remains uh, holding the uh, FIB 75% retracement so far, so that's a good sign. 60-minute chart, you have that key support zone at around the 7620, so watch out there. That's a good sign, provided that holds market remains bullish. And uh, again, same story here. The gap higher certainly has failed to hold. We did close the gap above around the 766 um, zone. Okay, but the market certainly has slid ever since, so I keep an eye on that as well. Okay, so again, support for the FTSE is seen at 7.620 and 7.610. Now, the Turkish contagion phase I've, I've certainly alleviated, but again, having said that, given the fact that Mr. Erdogan or Erdogan uh, certainly did say that he was going to target or retaliate, basically not target, it's the Americans that are targeting him, uh, retaliate with regards to the situation 
um, in terms of uh, the trade tariffs, etc., which again, I think Europe is certainly doing as well to a large extent, although recently have had some sort of agreement. Whether that agreement lasts, as we all know with Trump, is not a man of his word. Okay, so again, NASDAQ, any retracement, you've got resistance here at 7636, you've got resistance above at 7465, then you've got support below at 7385. And uh, watch out there, 7385 and gap fill is at 7400. Currently trading around the 7444 zone. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, Nasdaq trades, given the fact that Mr. Trump, Mr. Erdogan, has said that uh, he is going to uh, obviously uh, put a potential ban on imports for US uh, electronics, and that certainly doesn't bode well. Again, that gives other it gives ideas for other countries to do the same, and, and that will certainly hurt the, uh, the FANG stock. So watch out there. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, European indices. Please be sure to visit uh, CFDs, specialists in CFD brokerage, and be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.